Welcome to the video, guys. For Licked, my name is Jay Ilofsky, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about working with background music in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into the video. All right, so sometimes we've got some background music going in our video, and sometimes that clip is not quite long enough. So I'm gonna show you how to extend that clip with a smooth transition, and I'm also gonna show you how to merge two different songs together to get a smooth, clean transition. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve, and I've already got an audio track in my timeline here. So I'm just working with audio, I'm not worrying about with video at this point. So let's say I've got a song and I need to extend that song. It needs to be a little bit longer to fit with my video. So you want to listen to the song a few times and make sure you're familiar with the different parts of the song. Every song has patterns to it or things that repeat in it. And that's where you want to make your changes and make your cuts where the song repeats. So I'm going to play through a little bit of this song here and uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to cut it together. <laughs> So already we can hear some of the repeats that are happening here in the song. So if I jump forward a little bit, we'll see it changes right up here. And then if we jump ahead a little farther, I know that it changes right here. Okay, so what I would do is I would listen to the song and I would find a place that looks like it would be good to make a cut. So anywhere where there's no changes, there's a little uh, slow part to the song or where it kind of dies down a little bit, kind of like this part. Before that next beat comes in, that's a good spot to cut it. So if we jump ahead here, I've already marked a spot where I think it would make a good place to cut the track. So let's listen to that. Let me zoom in a little here and we're gonna see uh, how it sounds right where my cut is, which is where this blue marker is. So we can hear right at that blue marker, the track starts to repeat itself. So let's say I'm gonna cut this track here. I'm gonna delete the second part here. And I wanna add in the track again. So it starts over because let's say I need the track to be longer. So I'm gonna take my second example, move that out of the way here. Then I'm gonna grab the new clip, bring it down into my timeline. And now I notice I have a little bit of dead space here in the beginning of the new clip. So I'm gonna just bring that in to where the music starts. Okay, let's bring these two clips together and just hear how it sounds. So it's a little bit of a transition there, you can hear it. So what I wanna do is come to my effects library, come down to my audio transitions and add a crossfade and that should help blend it together a little bit. So let's listen to that. So that's almost pretty much seamless. I, if you're just listening to the song, you're not gonna notice that the song is starting over and now you've basically added the song again into your music track here so it can continue along with your video. And let's just listen to that one more time here. You would never even know that the cut's there. So perfect transition. All right, so now let's say I have a different song here. I've got another song. We'll play a little bit of the beginning for you here so you can hear what it sounds like. And if I jump ahead a little, we'll hear where it kind of changes from what it was just doing to a different rhythm. So let's say we wanted to merge this one with the previous song. So let's come back to the previous song and let's say we wanted to play through this whole video here and then at the end we want to add in the next song. So let's listen to the end and find a good point to break our clip. Okay, so right here at the end it's dying down pretty good. So like right there I think sounds like a good spot. So I'm gonna get rid of this little part of the clip. Let's bring in the other one here and I've already got a marker here where I think is a good spot to make a transition with the new song. Bring back my clip. So let's just see how that sounds. Okay, so you can definitely hear the transition. Let's add the crossfade again. You can even stretch out the crossfade to blend it in over a longer period of time. And let's see how that sounds. So I think this transition sounds pretty good. You wouldn't even know that it's two separate songs if you didn't see our two different clips here. If you were just listening to it, probably would never know the difference. All right, guys, so there you go. That's how you merge together different tracks in DaVinci Resolve. You really just need to listen to the song find a spot that it sounds like it makes sense or where things change in the song or maybe uh, there's something that matches up between the songs. Make your cuts, 
put them together, throw a little crossfade on there, and you should end up with a good music track and a smooth transition between them. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content you want to see more of it. If you like the songs that we used in this video, or maybe you're looking for some music for your own project or your own YouTube videos, head on over to the Lick website, check them out, and see what they have to offer. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.